Hello everyone and welcome to another video and in this video I'm going to be showing you how I go about painting the Germans that come with the 0 200 hours box set which are made by Wargames Atlantic. Now one of the things I really like about this sprue is how a lot of the models are at rest or at ease, they look like they're a bit bored on duty um, and that's something I really like and has allowed me to basically rip through painting these very quickly so I'll just show you that process. So here you can see um, there's one that I've pre-assembled. So I decided to go with a simple sentry who's smoking a cigarette. He's at ease, he's got his car 98 there. Um, and since I put up the battle report and a few more photos, I've had some emails and some comments just asking me if I could show how I painted them. And it really doesn't take very long at all. Um, and also, is a bit of a disclaimer, I'm not an expert on German World War II uniforms. If I can make it look enough like a German from three foot away that I'm happy, then you know, that's, you know, I'm sold. So there we go. So to kick things off, I use some Geek Gaming modeling compound. You can get this on from the Geek Gaming website, which I'll link down below. Um, and I just fill in the base. Now the base is uh, got, got this lip around it, so you can, you can fill it in, but you could also put some things in there like water effect and that if you wanted a puddle. The modeling compound is meant for terrain making, but if you just put a few pinches in a, in a pot like this and mix it up, it's great for just filling things in and saves on putty. So I'm using my sculpty tool just to sort of push it in and, uh, and then I can wipe away any excess. This will take about 10 minutes to go fully hard and dry and when it is you can always sand off any excess. Now to undercoat this I use the Plastic Soldier Company German Field Grey Rattle Can Spray which I know is cheating a little bit but I want to get these on the table quickly. So once that's applied, it will look a little something like this. And then I like to start on the trousers. And for the trousers, I'm going to be using Citadel's color Dark Reaper. I water this down a little bit um, and just block paint in the trousers. Once the trousers have dried, I like to use Abaddon Black from Citadel and now I block paint in all of the black areas on the model, funnily enough, and that's the, uh, the boots, uh, the belt and the webbing. Um, it'll also be things like the shoulder boards and the collar, which um, we'll do some more detail on later. Um, so yeah, just Abaddon Black on all of these. Once I've finished with these, I'm now going to use the Citadel Contrast Colour Wildwood and I'm just going to paint this all over the rifle. Now that's done, I'm going to use Corax White and I'm going to block in all the areas of flesh. Now these will um, be painted in with a contrast colour later but I like to do these now so when I do the quick shading it sort of does some pre-highlighting and then shades for the contrast. I have to be a little bit careful here and not get anything on the uniform if you can avoid it. Once this is done I'm then going to use the Vallejo colour aluminium and I'm going to dot in all his buttons and metallic areas like his belt buckles and um, other parts on the gun like the barrel, the trigger, all of that. Once this is all dry then I'm going to use the Army Painter Strong Tone Quick Shade and I'm just going to liberally apply that all over the model but try not to let it pull too much in the recesses and I'll use the brush to pull that away slightly. I just set this aside to dry and make sure it really is dry um, and then it'll look a little bit something like this. Now once it's dry I'm ready to do the flesh so I'm going to use the Citadel Contrast Colour Darko Flesh and I'm going to block in all of his um, face and his hands. Then I'm going to put on the first layer of highlights and for that I'm going to use Kislev Flesh and I'm just going to focus on things like the nose, the, uh, the tops of the cheeks um, and things like his fingers. Sorry, it kind of dipped a little bit out of focus here. Um, the trick here is just to leave enough in the, uh, the recesses um, so you get the nice shadow effect. Once this is all done, I then use the Army Painter Colour Elf Flesh and I just do some extreme highlights, tops of the cheeks and on the nose. 
Once this is dried, the next thing I move on to is using Corax White to uh, basically pick out where the national colours are going to be on the helmet. So I draw a little triangle for the shield there. And then on the opposite side of the helmet, I do a, a small black triangle using Abaddon Black. And this is where the Eagle of the Army and Navy is going to go. I then use the black to paint a small stripe at the top of the white shield and then I use flat red from Army Painter to paint the bottom of the shield so you've got those national colours. I then use Corax white to paint three small white lines in there to represent the eagle at three foot away no one is going to notice. I now use Corax white just to dot in the eye. And then when that's dry, I'll use Abaddon Black to come in and do the pupil. Um, I try to just draw a little line and I try to do it either to one side. Um, so he's looking, it basically looks like he's looking in like either direction and not just staring straight ahead. Once this is done, he's pretty much there. I'm then going to use aluminium again by Vallejo and just re-highlight some of the metal work so, because uh, the Army Painter Strong Tone will take some of the shine off of that. So I just come in and do a little bit of extra highlighting with the original colour. Once this is dry, I'm now going to use Ulf 1 Grey by Citadel and I'm going to uh, use this and I'm going to paint his cigarette. I'm now going to use Ulf on Grey again and I'm going to paint in the collar um, stripes because he's a private. He's going to have two stripes and I'm going to paint the rim of the shoulder boards as well in um, Ulf on Grey. Now I'm going to use my favourite colour, Vallejo Deck Tan, and I'm going to give the whole model a very light dry brush um, across the whole thing and build it up very, very slowly. And this just adds wear and tear to the model. It will give some highlights um, to the areas of the trousers and at the top of the arms. Now to finish things off, I'm going to use Fiery Orange to uh, create the sort of cherry on the end of the cigarette. And then I'm going to dot in some Avalon Sunset by Citadel just to uh, give it a final bit of brightness. Now I'm going to use uh, Geek Gaming Scenic's uh, Scrublands, uh, Base Ready Scrublands mix and uh, just paint PVA glue straight onto his base um, and then I'm going to basically whip him around in this container, uh, knock off any large pieces or any bits I don't want and pop him in there again and while the glue is still wet I'm going to press in a couple of tufts and that is the base done. Once this is dry, I'm going to use, well, any black. I'm using Abaddon Black, and I'm just going to paint the base rim, but a lot of people like painting them brown or whatever colour, but for some reason I always paint mine black. And uh, after this, I just hit him with uh, some matte varnish, and he's done, and he's ready to join the rest of his squad. So as you can see, it's a very quick process, and um, in about an hour, or just over an hour, I can knock out a batch like this. So here we have uh, the officer, in his great coat and all of these have been painted using exactly the same method that I've shown here. Um, a couple of um, them have different weapons like this one has got the MP40 and um, for things like the goggles I'll just dot in some gloss varnish on those just so they look a bit more reflective. Overall this is a really really nice kit and one that I enjoy painting. It's very very straightforward. Um, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave up some photos of um, the finished models so you can see them. If you've got any questions, then just drop them down below. The complete paint list will be down below as well. And stay tuned for the next video in the 0200 series.